I'm testing out a newly installed system to see how it performs off-grid. So checking out the app right now, we have our loads at about three kilowatts. Kind of see right there, we're producing somewhere between six and seven um, kilowatts. So we're gonna go up and kill power back at the main panel. This is the 200 amp breaker that will disconnect this house from the grid, simulating a power outage. So we'll go ahead and go off on that. And boom, before I could even walk over here, lights are back on. So we're currently operating off grid. So can you explain the magic that's happening inside the backup interface right now? Backup interface basically physically disconnects you from the grid so that the solar can keep the inverters on and not back feed the grid. Walk down to the utility room real quick. You can hear that the, uh, turn the light on. The furnace is running, the sun is shining, and that sunlight is turned into electricity and it is powering the furnace heating this home. If you go ahead and take a look at the app, you can see that power has been disconnected. The house is listed as backup mode and then PV supplying the loads. This array is producing seven kilowatts right now, but the house only needs maybe two kilowatts. So historically with backup systems, you didn't have very much output from the solar panels. The best way to do it would be to take like a critical loads panel and you would install a few breakers in there and then you would be able to run some of the loads in your house. So when the power goes out, you're able to back up lights in your house, maybe the Wi-Fi router, but nothing crazy. What's all going on in this combiner panel? So this is just combining all of the solar inverters we have on the site. We have three here. Um, just for comparison, most homes that we do solar on have just one of these. So this is a 40 amp breaker, eight gauge wire. That's kind of the maximum output you're gonna get out of that guy. On the flip side, having all three of these combined, up, you know, the output of this is much greater. We've got a much thicker gauge. I believe this is two watt, um, which goes to a disconnect for the utility. So you've just got a lot more going on, a lot more complexity, but also a lot more capability on this particular system. What would you be able to back up with just one of these inverters? You could run easily a uh, refrigerator, all the lights in your house. The one thing is if you have two inverters, solar edge says generally you could actually run an air conditioner off that. And then going with three, we've got a ton of solar on this house as well. This is a 25 kilowatt array. It's massive for a residence. All three inverters, you could run pretty much anything you ever wanted. And probably charge your electric car, you know, if the grid was down. So that's a huge game changer for, if we look back even two years ago, our options were running some lights inside the house, maybe your Wi-Fi router, and that's it. Now, with a, a triple inverter setup, where you're able to combine all of the power and send it into your home, you can run anything. AC unit, charger car, refrigerator, furnace. So one thing that's really cool about this system is that we have um, east facing panels over there, we have south facing, and we have west facing. We have about 20% on the, the east and the west, and then the majority of the panels on the south. And that way, with this, off-grid system we're able to get more sun exposure early in the morning and more sun exposure late at night you know ideally if you're looking at uh, an annual basis south facing panels are going to get more power but that was the the old school way of looking at things is export as much power as possible to the grid so i can build up as much credits as possible to offset the power i'm using in situations like this where you have a, a massive solar install and you have large batteries, you're actually able to self-consume, you know, 80, 90% of the power that your solar panels are producing. In a typical grid-tied solar install, you may be consuming power from the utility for 20 plus hours out of the day. There's only gonna be a couple hour window where you're actually producing all the power you need and maybe exporting power as well. I'll go ahead and toss you up. Are right, you ready? One, two, three.